Welcome back, everybody. This is She and I. I am your host, Be Love. And like always, I have my very special host with me, India Marie. <laughs> Bro, I sound just like him. This is the best thing that happened on a Tuesday. Well, damn it, since Monday. Give it up for yourself one time. The husband and wife duo you didn't know you need, but you got us and we are here to stay. Your, your grace is thriving. You crazy. Like she, oh, my God. <laughs> I, she come on this pod <laughs> just to hate on me. So, listen, I'm going to tell y'all. So, Blake hasn't been here. We're going to pick him up. We're going to pick Blake up um, in the next few days, right? Mm -hmm. Been gone for three weeks. My man is being down. Blake hasn't been here. I've been trying to take her out. All she wanted to do was sit around the house and watch. Um, what show you been watching? <laughs> Some weird ass show. No, 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 not, not that one. The other the one. Not, not, not even that one. The other one. Oh, All American Homecoming. All she wants to do is sit around the house and watch All American Homecoming. You wanna now, go now? You want to go on a date now? Because I finished the season today. So. Now, see what I'm saying? <laughs> now, listen, any other time when Blake is when Blake is now, you're like, nah, we need to go out. Ooh, when Blake get back, you ain't never take me out on a date. You got to take me out on a date. But now when Blake is gone, I have literally <laughs> attempted to take Indy out probably twice every week since Blake has been gone. Six times. Out of the six times, we probably been out twice because India gets in the TV. She curls it's up with that, that I bunny. Get the TV. I just don't feel like being outside. Outside, I, it, there's like nothing appealing to me about outside right now. We so what am I supposed to do? We told last week that we went and got patio furniture. I've been on the patio eating fruit. Drinking water. We got patio furniture just for and her. minding my business. Just for her. To see a bug. You, know, you, got, a, you got a friend and run in the house. But either. It, I know, because my max is like 8 30, because the bugs start coming out at like 8 30. You're about to go out there in a minute. You're about to go out there in a minute then. But listen, let me get back to what I'm trying to say. We're sitting on the couch, right? We chilling like we chilling, ain't watching TV. Um, and all of a sudden, this is how she be hating on me, man. I try to rub my foot against her thigh and then move the panties to the side with my feet. If you've never tried that before, you're not a true player. I know but that. I, I know you fucking lying. I know that's not what you were trying to do. I know yes. you were not trying to put your feet on my near my vagina. I was definitely trying. I was creeping up the thigh. And I was going to take my big toe, grab the panty, and hook it over. But she said, uh-uh, your feet feel like sandpaper. Get them off me. That was the first <laughs> one of the first nights. I'm like, damn, I can't even set the mood. With my toes. The fuck are we setting the mood with our feet for? Bro, because we were laying cat dog. If y'all don't know what cat dog is, my face, her face, feet to feet. That's what a cat dog lay is. So we were laying cat dog. So when we were laying cat dog, I don't know. I just said, all right, well, let me move. We'll try to make a move. I didn't feel like, you know, making it that obvious. So in order for me not to make it that obvious, she's my wife. I just like, you know, scoop my foot over, raise my leg up. And try to, you know, gently move the panty. But now she denied my foot. So First I said, all, I can't be moving. He hates pedicures. He has very rough feet. Furthermore, he be trying to rub his legs on me. And he's he's, made like, a, he's made like a werewolf. I like, ain't done. He has so much hair on his body that it don't, like, I be needing some smooth skin. Like, it's just so much hair on his body. Like, it really. ask y'all a question. Somebody asked there. me if I uh, ever, like, licked his booty hole before. And I was like, oh my God. Gracious no. me. Like, I know people that lick booty holes, but I would never Gracious go with his booty hole. Gracious me. Why would you even it's think? Like, that? It's, it's like a wall of hair. Like, I it would is. have to, like, climb through that bitch to get to Man, it. Man, let me tell so you it's something. It's going to be a no. For I got a me. trap door. <laughs> it hurt coming out. There ain't nothing going in. I got a trap door. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> But anyway, I digress. So at the next night or the next time we hung out on the couch, which was, it's been every damn night, um, I'm sitting there with my feet again, cat, dog. No, no, no. We're sitting up this time. So now I'm just in socks off chilling. She looks at my feet and I'm like, you cut your toenails way too short. I'm like, bro, you paying attention to the TV. 
Why is all the focus on me? I never <laughs> understand. In a marriage, let me tell you something about a wife. So she gonna point out was, everything that's wrong so, with you. No, so he that's what I'm trying to say there, right now. Everything. For whatever reason, he was sitting there wiggling his toes. Like how my fingers are doing. That's what his toes is doing. I was like, what the fuck is he wiggling his feet? So he drew attention to his feet. <laughs> and I have asked him this multiple times before. Like he cuts his toenails down so low that they have to hurt after he cuts them. If you cut your and toenails. I do not understand why anyone wants a stub of a talk. toenail. Okay, talk and to he him. he goes, well, because when I cut them this low, I only have to cut them every two months. That's fucking convenient. nasty. <laughs> That's convenient. That's time management. Now I ain't got to be ripping and running trying to go to the nail two shop. two minutes to trim your your fingernails and your toenails. Like, it takes you ridiculous. two minutes. takes me two months. I don't have to do it now. Every other month. I can cut my toenails six times a year and I'll be fine. But that's beside the point. What I was trying to get to is, as a wife, when you are married, I didn't know this, but you have a permanent person that will always point out the small boy. You could be thinking you the sexiest man alive. <laughs> I, you know, my hair looked good to me. I thought I was, you know, I did it a minute ago <laughs> just to come on here like, Ooh, look at all those grays. They're flourishing. That's not what I One, said. Y'all just two, heard me say three. the grays are the, the grays are thriving. They are multiplying. You and must you be lying. stressed out. <laughs> lying. I'm stressed out because you won't let my foot get on that panty line. That's I'm all I'm trying confused. to say. And see, what I think it is is that in his old age, he uh, has forgotten how to. And I've said this before, he has just forgotten how to seduce me. He knows good and damn well I've never wanted his feet on me. So I'm just confused. Like, it's, but it's all why about he think- trying something different, though. If we land there and I'm like, all right, let me try to make a move. Let me try to switch things up. We always use a hand. We always use the tongue of Tanzania. But I said, let me switch it up. I'm going to use the toe a hard- of Idaho. <laughs> I'm just going to move the penny out of the way. I'm having a hard the time even believing he's serious right now. Can we move past this conversation? Because I'm, I'm just. You know I'm serious. Can you slap my foot like three times? And no means no. And then I ended up going upstairs because I was irritated. She was so mad. no way that he was trying to set the move by putting his feet on me. This is crazy. <laughs> but I say all that to say, if you get you a wife that's going to point things out to you, your <laughs> shortcomings, what does that do to your self-esteem? Gray hair isn't a shortcoming. I'm going to put that product in my head if I get three more gray hairs. <laughs> I'm putting that product in my head. Oh, I like the gray. Well, you can like it on somebody else because it ain't going to be on me. <laughs> Me, DJ Khaled, Kevin Hart, DJ Envy. Who else got some old? I'm putting that product. Probably a lot of people got that product, but at least I don't have to go bald. Now, if I start, if I start losing the hair back here, then we got a problem. We got some shit we got to discuss. I've seen you. I'm a, I've seen you bald. I've seen pictures. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not my favorite. Let me tell you something, man. You know I, when I you're like, young, I like hair on his head. Actually, he could grow it out in a fro. I, I, yeah. would, I would like that. That's cool. When I was <laughs> when I was younger, um, I had a girlfriend, and she somehow convinced me that I look good with like a low haircut. We did some foolish things, man. Like what? You ain't never did nothing for a person that you liked when you were younger. No. Like when never. No. Nobody has ever suggested something to you like, for instance, Indy, you look real good when you wear maxi dresses. I think you need to wear those all the time. And then you didn't go out and buy a gang of maxi dresses? I didn't. Hell no, nah, boy. Y'all, Man, why are you acting like you don't know me? I know you, but I'm saying. You, did, you know me. <laughs> if somebody tells you you look good in something or they like something about you that you care about or who you hold their opinion in high regard, you're going to try to, you know, do I've that thing. I've never had anybody, like, I've never had She's a guy selfish. that I've dated. Not hey, even selfish. me. I've never had a guy that I've dated say, hey, I would like for you to wear more of these. The only thing, the only person that has <laughs> ever said that is Barry. And, what, and it's like, in where, regards to thongs. There and you would go. like for me to wear more thongs, but like I said, I don't like wearing thongs. It's either, it's crazy, it's, man. It's either a full penny or no pennies. Like, I don't know what he want me to do. <laughs> Back in the day, speaking of old age, she used to stay with this blue G-string all the time. I think it was the only one she had. Only I don't even one. know what you're talking about. Must be another girl. Nah, it was 100% you. I don't ever you. remember having a blue string, G-string. Bro, it was a hundred percent you. Now you finna celebrate made me a lie. I'm gonna look back in at the tapes. I bet you still got them old raggedy underwear. But they I look nice back have, in the day. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> you had a royal blue, like the blue that's on the screen right here. 
You had a royal blue G string. Oh, G string, get the job done. But if you wear a G string, just don't wear nothing. But anyway, how was your week, by the way? We didn't even get to that point. The week was fine. That's uh, all you got? Yeah, because Barry. Oh, we forgot to tell everybody the whole live show. Live show. <laughs> we just um, went, cra- we went crazy. Damn, we got two a live, weeks. the live show is officially next weekend. It is. Okay, it's officially Shit, next get on weekend my on July 9th at 7 p.m. Okay, so Dude, it's I'm at the it. Hutton Go Hotel ahead, at Analog. If you have not gotten your tickets already, go ahead and get your tickets. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a good time. Mm-hmm. I got friends sending me their outfits. I like that. Mm-hmm. I got I like, more. I, 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 I like that. I got my outfit ready. I'm going to be looking good. <laughs> I'm going to be looking sharp. She's going to be looking good too. We gonna, she made me coordinate. Talking about, we going to go on stage. We got to coordinate. I'm like, all right, let's do it. So we're going to be out there looking like, um, like we just cool people, you know? I didn't even have a joke. So I just left it alone. But we ready for the live show. We're ready Get for the tickets. live show. Come on, hang with us. Do your thing with us, man. We want to see you out there. Something I realized, though. So as I am curating this live show, I'm going to shit on my friends right now. <laughs> oh, hell. As I'm curating this live show. I was looking through my phone and said, I need a creative circle, man. I need more of a uh, creative circle to bounce ideas off of to help me cultivate this monstrosity of summertime vibes that I'm trying to create. Mm. I want y'all to come in and experience something different. I want y'all to tag team. I want you to be a part of this show. So I'm thinking of ways to do that. But you know. We always got to go to our friends and our immediate family to try things out on. So as I'm looking at around at my friends and I'm trying to try things out and test out new material, they know nowhere to be found. I need some more friends. Y'all want to be my friends? Can you reach out to anybody? Yeah, I got to call Aisha, man. Aisha been telling me to call her. I might call her in a second when we get off here. A few more people to be in. A couple people I need to talk to, man. You know, just a couple people. I like women's opinion. I ain't nothing wrong with guys, but women... They are the vibe. If you have, let me tell you something that I learned. You know, I'm on I a learned, tangent right now. What? If, if you want to find some guys that need some healing to do, do a podcast and let them find your videos. <laughs> it's, it, oh. it, it, we, we, it's a certain demographic oh, yeah, of niggas right. that keep coming across our videos and they are not happy with anything that we're saying. <laughs> Where you see that at? Where they doing that at? I just be looking at the comments like, wow, these are some very hurt people. Oh, you're talking about the last one. The yeah. Last video. Well, yeah. Go I didn't even see it, but I'm going to hit the button that you get into it, nigga. I didn't even see it. During the week, we got deep. Yeah. Talk about it. Let's talk on the podcast. So it's not really even, it's not even really much to get into. It's just, it, it's an observation. Mm-mm. You know, so what was the clip? You We posted two clips posted with Skylar. Two. Shout out to the Last homegirl week. Sky, man. She did a thing on the pod too. And I appreciate y'all for tagging us, saying that y'all found her from us, man. It's a love. We appreciate it. We're just trying to build a community. But um, yeah, Skyly came on and we posted one clip that says struggle love. The struggle love clip was basically India saying that struggle love or learning how to love starts at home. And then once you learn how to love, then you know what you're looking for. And then Skyly went on to explain how they translated over to her relationship. The second clip, well, that was the second. The first clip that we posted was about men lying more than women to each other. Not just all the way around, but men lie to each other more than women lie to one another. Man, niggas say any motherfucking thing on the podcast. The fuck? This <laughs> Just is like my- that. <laughs> God bless. And of course I go to this man's page and he's standing there with two glocks on his hip, like looking crazy as hell. So nah, I'm, like, I'm glad I ain't saying nothing to him then. Poor thing. Nah, I'm glad I ain't saying nothing. Leave him Poor alone. <laughs> Man, when you see people like that, you leave them alone. Because obviously, they don't, got, they don't give a shit about nothing else. They'll take your ass out to sleep good at night. You leave those type of people alone. But I'm happy that, they're li- that they did listen to the clip. We just talk about things that gives you a different perspective on things. No, nah, we talk. Can we keep it real? About. Every All right, so you saw that clip, right? Yeah. Every other clip or every other guy that DM me or DM the podcast page, it was a more mature standpoint. And these men either had careers, <laughs> wives, families, girlfriends. Like, 
education. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. And they had respect. Like they knew how to um go about treating their friends and they knew how to go about facilitating conversations with their friends. But I find it interesting that so many guys responded directly to your DMs versus commenting under the post. Um, we had but long conversations, it, though. We were talking. I also think it goes back to men feeling like they need a safe space to openly share like how they feel mm. about certain topics. Y'all know you want to be loved. Some, safe. Now, there were a couple of guys who like went in on the on the subject. And I appreciated that. I appreciated that. the you know the verbiage, the conversation. But go find some. Shout it just goes to show some like you some people some men feel more comfortable discussing things in private. Now I don't think the conversation was deep enough to you know one hundred percent need to be a private yeah. conversation, but. I do think that men are just more closed off. Shout out to my guy, Kristen. Kristen said the best thing, man. He let it ride on there. I pinned this coming. A lot of dope dudes, man. A lot of people. From my viewpoint, yeah, man. Who else? Who is this? Another oh, classmate. Ah. My, my classmates, my, my, my high school classmates be be listening and What's they be coming through. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I didn't want to say your name <laughs> wrong. But I, my boy, I didn't want to say your name wrong. Be love from the sip. <laughs> I didn't want to say this like organic. I mean, my, my classmates, exotic. my classmates be engaging. They she be coming under the post. She swear, right? <laughs> she swear Memphis that's like Memphis, the only place. Memphis, that's Memphis. Memphis, Memphis, is Memphis, Memphis, place, Memphis, Memphis. You can't spell Memphis without an M. Don't what worry about it. Fuck about Mississippi. Oh, uh, but listen though. <laughs> I don't know why people got so upset about that clip, but you know, I appreciate y'all for listening, regardless. However. I want to discuss like one or two or three things. I was listening to one of my favorite pods, as you can see on TV, but it wasn't even this one, though. And it was something that they had discussed one time, and it was about, is it, or, this woman actually wrote them a letter in mm -hmm. and said that she feels insecure when she goes to Instagram and she notices her boyfriend, or I forgot what it was, a boyfriend, her husband, Liking pictures that look nothing like her. For instance, these women may have breasts. She may be flat chested. These women may have a nice ass. She may be flat bottom. Or, or, these women may have curly hair. She may have straight hair. Either way, she asks, does that make her insecure? And what should she do to try to help her boost her self-esteem? I want to ask I you. I like we've talked about this before. Um... I mean, I guess it could make you insecure, but okay. Uh oh. So for me, here we go. I'm very confident in the way that I look, and like I, I like Talk I, to I don't think I'm ugly. I, I feel like I'm very attractive. Like I'm very, I'm confident in myself. Let's go. Um. So if I were to see you liking a bunch of pictures of women who look nothing like me. I don't know. I would think that if you're looking to like find another home, I don't want the girl to look like me because then I'm like, why the fuck would you go get a bitch that looks just like me? <laughs> like, <laughs> that, that's weird. Why you do I gotta be looking to find it? Hold up. The crazy thing about it is, why does liking pictures equate to me trying to find another home? <laughs> I don't want to find another home. I just like looking at nice things. Oh, I do too. I, we already we talked about you and your friends and who y'all like to look at. <laughs> it's, I, you told me. And I know the people personally. Everybody I like to look at, she don't know personally. <laughs> but I actually know these people personally. She just be goggle-eyed and googly over. Yeah. I ain't never been googly-eyed over nothing. I told you who my friends were attracted to. That's See, all look, I look, said. Look, 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 the GoPro. And y'all don't think she be in there, girl, you surely a fine, ain't it? Get out of here. If you expect me to believe that, I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you Anyways, right now. Now, I'm going to go on and well, say... So, on, here's the thing. When we first got together yeah. and social media or like Instagram became a thing, yeah. I was feeling like I couldn't like guys' posts Why or not? whatever. Why I, you, I don't know. Did, did that make you feel like that or something? I don't know. I'm trying to explain. I, I don't know. But then when I saw the bear was like and whoever fuck pictures he wanted to like, I just started doing the same thing. So now it's just kind of like, well, hell, he he sees pictures that he likes. I see pictures that I like. <laughs> so we we gonna be in here doing the same thing. It's Double a quid tap, pro tap, tap, quo. Tap tap tap. 
Now, I ain't going back weeks and tapping. No, no, no. But I ain't if doing it comes either. across nah, nah, the nah, timeline, nah. be like, hmm, nice. Tap, tap. Because that's what he be doing. Why you got to do what I do? Be better than me. You so got to have a higher level of character. So maybe go find you some guys that you, you know, you would like to look at their content. Um, so you can have some people to tap, tap to on as well. That's, that's ridiculous to me. Why, why is that ridiculous? Because I'm only looking for research purposes only, right? I'm not I'm looking, looking for research purposes only. I'm looking at these young ladies' pages to see what kind of tennis shoes they wear. You know, what kind of outfit they got on, you know? And if it looks nice, then I'm like, like, I think my wife will look good in something like that. That's the only reason why I'm like, they may be on a nice vacation. Hmm, I wonder where they are. How much was that villa? Can I afford that villa? That's all I'm looking at. They are just foreground, but the background is actually the things I'm checking out. Everything else, miscellaneous. I want to know the aesthetics of the picture. That's all I'm looking at. And, you know, call it what you want, but that's the truth. Okay. Why she don't got to believe me? See what I'm saying? Now, I I'm will, say, the picture that, I will right now. say this. As far as guys that I follow, I don't follow many men on social media. And most of, I mean, most of the guys that I follow are either classmates, whether from college, high, middle, elementary school, like they're classmates um, or they're celebrities. I don't follow random guys, um, you know. And so, <laughs> Bear also knows that I I, I, I like a well dressed man. Okay, so really, okay, that okay. that is that is what my wife has fallen I'm trap. At. My wife has fallen trap to the Instagram guys who wear suits, yeah, have plants in the background, and they make up their beds. No, 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 it. I don't like that. She loves. I don't that like content. that content. Anybody I doing do yoga? Like that Anybody do playing like with content. crystals? I don't use. I don't right. really watch that content All for right. women either. I kind of don't. Really care to see you wash your face. Okay. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't care to see you moisturize on Ooh. social media. I don't. I don't care to see you make your bed. But like I said, I do enjoy like looking at well dressed people in general. So just how I follow like women influencers who mm. dress really well, I follow men as well who dress really well. And they may not be an influencer. It may just be a clean ass basketball player. Like I love the way Chris what, Paul. Chris Paul dresses like. I am a fan of the way he of, of the way though. he dresses. I put her on no homo, but I can't say that no more. I got I might have to take that part out. I'm sorry, you guys, but I put her on. So I'm following very few for like eye candy and more so. What you need? For you got like, to see all this. It's Twix over here. Barry, you don't need no eye. This I, is a no, Twix. No, no, because I know you're following a bunch of bitches for eye candy. So I don't. I don't want to hear Ooh, that. I don't want to hear that. that like you've been here. to Drea, Joy. Like come on, I, I, now. come on now. Come on now. You better believe. Gonna, so I'm following very few because they <laughs> fine. I, but but you fine. I like the way. Thank you. I like the way the dress. I, I like a well tailored suit. Okay. And some nice streetwear. I got. I look good right now. Don't you don't you say nothing about my body. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got on this. So y'all can't see me from the waist. Now I got on number underwear. Just that's all I got on right now. Straws. I'm lying. I got on basketball shorts. This she bought for me actually. So, <laughs> oh, quick question for you. So okay. listen, it says guys, letting a girl know that they have a crush. So when a guy, if a guy, speaking of this whole topic that we're on right now. If a guy were to come to you and let you know he has a crush on you, or back when you were single, right? Mm -hmm. What's the best way for him to approach the situation? I'm getting somewhere with it. The best way for a guy to approach the situation if he had a crush on you. <laughs> Something about to take about it somewhere. Like back in the day. Yeah, and what would you say if I came up to you and be like, "Oh, India, hey, listen, I think you're beautiful. Matter of fact, I don't think you're beautiful. I think you're beyond it." That would be funny. Um, uh -huh. I got her. I don't. Hook, line, and sinker. Come here, big girl. I don't know. The most off-putting thing that Whoa. I have ever encountered um, was a guy in college who, I guess, had a crush on me. And I was with a friend. Okay. And we went to um, their dorm room on campus. And he had like written my name on his door, but it was like a phrase. And I don't remember what it was. Say, for instance, it may have been like, I like India or like something like that. He and I was like, like... <laughs> it was very off putting to me because I wasn't attracted to the guy at all. Oh, like, it was I wasn't like, I, it wasn't, and I had never given him any signs right on. that 
I was interested in him. Okay. So I was just like, mm, this is weird. All right, all See right. See you later. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I'm about to ask because, next because I've been out of the dating game for so long, I don't even know how. Now, I will say, I see a lot of examples of what I would not tolerate hmm. from a crush. But I also find it hard to believe that guys still have real crushes. That's what I was trying to get to. Boy, like, that's crazy because our next question is going to lead right up to that. I, I, Why is that so hard to believe? I find it hard to believe that guys actually have real crushes because I would think that if you had a real crush, True. then your actions would show that you're serious about dating someone. And it seems to be... Not no like pre thought to it, you know what I'm saying? It's like because because we also live in like a instant gratification society, and so I feel like people see someone on Instagram and it's not like I'm crushing on her. It's just like she looks Lusty. nice in a bathing suit. Let Lusty me over. get in her DMs. I'm trying to see what them cheeks feel like. So it doesn't really give you the room to crush on somebody. You know what I'm saying? Versus mm. like, say for instance, you are working in an office setting mm. and you're single and you ha it's like a new coworker that works in a different department and you're seeing him every day. Hold on. You bet, you bet, like, this picture too vivid. You ain't even been in no office. You must have been watching some pornography. Exactly. So, boy, shut up. So anyways, like... That you you notice a new guy, he works on a different department so in a different department, and you're noticing him every day. Mm. That's a crush, and you're hoping that maybe y'all would like bump into each other or okay. find a way to have some sort of conversation. Okay, um, you know, so that y'all can connect. Or when you were in school and you kept seeing the same girl walking mm -hmm. around across campus at the, at a certain time every day, or you know, you're just noticing her across campus. That's a crush. But now I don't, especially like That's in the, especially I guess in the, like at the age we're in, there's not really a lot of, unless you're seeing this person. Okay. That's a, that's what I think the difference is. Crushes are like people that you see often in person, and you just can't figure out how to take. It to the next level like we, we we're trying to figure out how to take this person that i have this crush on to the, the this person that i have this crush on to the next level like what's the next step past the crush okay okay well uh, uh i really don't agree with I, I i i was with you up until the point where you said you got to see somebody you know the internet has made things a lot more small it's made all of us connect like in, in our living rooms now somebody might see your Pilates content You're like man she's dope like I can see why people like her or shit might hear the podcast you were single you know like damn she got a dope personality I see why people would like her and then they start being a, they, they hey he's he's never seen you a day in your life but he sees your content like shit Sky hmm. somebody might see Sky Sky is an entertainer you see her you're like damn I like her man she got a great ball like a ball of fun I got a crush on her but the question that I saw online was, it was crazy as hell. Women think men are savages. The question said, men and men only. What does it feel like when you have a crush on somebody? Do you guys even get butterflies? Do you even get nervous? Do you even tell them? Um, or do you even think about them at all? What does that feel like? Do you guys even get crushes? It's crazy to me. Well, so I did see that. And there, they did post like a thread of men that explained like what it Hell felt yeah. like to them. So I do believe that it's a real thing. And I mean, going back to the social media thing, I, so I feel like there's a window. Like if, if you see you your crush constantly okay. on social media. It means she in your but album. You have, yeah, but you haven't like, <laughs> Got that album you haven't tried pop. to talk to her yet. You haven't tried to address her in any way. You're just noticing like her pictures, how she moves, looking at her stories, double tapping her pictures, but you're like scared to act on it, right? Mm. Versus somebody who just like boom, picture pops up on the timeline. Boom, boom. In the DMs. Liking it. <laughs> liking it. Liking it. Like it. Like, listen, I'm looking at Melissa Ford. I hear her talk right now on, on this show. And if, if Melissa Ford didn't even look like she looked, people would have, I can see why people would have a crush on Melissa Ford. She's a genius. But hearing her talk, seeing her, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, people have a crush on her. So. And I, so I think, like, back in the day, like, it would be, you would be out in a social setting and you would be introduced to, to a guy. Y'all would meet, chop it up for a minute, part ways. You be thinking about that Hit person. Hit up your homegirl, be like, that nigga was 
find is hell. See what I'm saying? She did to me. I am trying. <laughs> what she did to, to you, boy? To see him again. She reliving out. Then whole you fantasy, start. Right then now. you start conspiring. Uh, your boyfriend friends with him. Uh, let me know where y'all gonna see, be. See, men don't so do it that up. deep, though. I will say, <laughs> see, yeah, that, that's deep. Like, we've been trying to figure out, like, how can I get back in his space so that I can make my move? <laughs> and I don't think men think that far ahead, but we do get butterflies. Listen, I might, I still get butterflies when I'm with you, girl. That took her to it. Look at her. She got a little, she got a little hot right there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? When I get around her sometimes and she looking good, get dressed up, I'm like, oh, look at me. My stomach is hurting. I might go to the restroom before we go out because she made me feel that way. You know? Is that why you don't ever, like, you don't, you still have a hard time giving compliments because you just be speechless? Because you, you knock me off my feet. Hee! <laughs> you know what I mean? But nah, yeah, you take my breath away. Well, shut up. So in that moment, <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. So, of course, this is why. But you do. Like, for real. When you get ready to go out or you get ready, you know what I'm saying? Like like that one time, right? She bought that uh, that vibrating, that, 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 that remote vibration hole. She put it in. She's like, hey, I got something for you. And she gave me the remote and I'm controlling her panties with the remote. I had butterflies. I'm like, man, if I fuck this up, I ain't getting no vagina. <laughs> so... <laughs> My wife still gives me butterflies, but this you did me. like what I had on. We we did so go on a sweet. date. So, yeah. We went on a date on this past Friday. Yeah. Let me say, well, where you get that dress from? <laughs> you give me butterflies, <laughs> and I just uh, I just want to. Okay. I can okay. sing now, you can't bro. Sing. I got all the courage in the world sing. now. She got butterflies right then. I know you did. But I will never get butterflies back, from your singing. Back to the original question I was trying to get you, to. You, you right in the pocket with Ray J, you, Giveon. Um, Giveon sound like <laughs> shit. Um, Ray J sound way better than Giveon. Ray bro. J does not sound better than anyone. Are you kidding right now? <laughs> no. You correct. If I had one wish, he was on point. Come on, man. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you high? Yeah. All that. Uh, let me get. Let me answer my question real fast. <laughs> this shit was awful. The whole fucking verses was awful. Hey, I stayed up late watching their verses. I'm not even going to lie. I said, I told Indy, me and her, I was trying to get her to give him. I said, hey, man, Mario, about to wash Mario. I said, he about to go in there and put on a show. Mario not going to know what hit him. Indy was like, oh, you don't know about Mario. You don't let's, know. Let's, let's Talk about yeah, it. So we, we gonna have, let's hold listen. Up, hold up, hold up. Then, this is gonna be a short intermission. Short intermission. Oh, good. I never. Okay. So I guess because Omarion has gotten so fine in his adult years, I completely forgot that I've never like for B two K. He's never been the one for me. And so the verses reminded me of how I've this always crazy thought that right he now. was like kind of corny. And she so, kept saying it too the whole night. He's I did. Corny. I did. For one, his songs didn't age well. Like, I was not excited to hear Touch or none of that. Hey, none of hidden. it. Oh, baby, by the way. Um, still hidden. <laughs> and then I realized, when I was a B2K fan. Come on, girl. Fizz was it for me. Oh, you just like Bug good Supreme. was second in line. You just it was it always just... Fizz and Bug. This, what's it wrong was with her never, right now? It was never Omarion. I, out of all my friends... Like, like we Razby. used to we used to claim no one ever claimed Raspy, but Damn. no one ever claimed no Mario either. It was either Fizz or Book. So what about Ray J? You know, gets, the nobody ever wanted Ray J. So when he gets out there, <laughs> I do my boy Ray like eating that, watermelon, crazy. humping the microphone stand, humping That's the what? floor, and pelvic thrusting. I'm just not understanding like what. What is it's the message that he's trying to give other than I'm a little corny and washed up now? It wasn't even a good performance. He, y'all know that, uh, <laughs> that video that was going around last week of um, I got my relationship Genuine, now. and he's like body rolling. That's what got... Mario was giving to me. No, you ain't going to do my boy like that. He just he just couldn't get out of the blocks, man. It just wasn't it. All right, man. Can I can I do my relationship? Then we'll come back because you, you brought it up. Now I got to do it. I just... <laughs> Now unqualified advice from B Love and B Love's relationship. All right, here we go, fellas. This is for you. Don't let fruit be your go-to in the bedroom. Man. <laughs> That's really it. Like 
He if, ruined the watermelon for if me. You he can't, ruined it. If you can't turn a woman home by other stuff, I don't believe fruit just going to do it. Like, I don't think a woman is looking at how a man eats a watermelon and think, oh, wait, I can't wait till he put that tongue on me. Do you feel like that? No, but I do know that he was trying to demonstrate what his, was he his to demonstrate? tongue and eating abilities. So just let me do and, it then. You know, let me demonstrate. To let the, open let your the legs. juices from the watermelon file on him and give huh? us a visual. But all it was giving was I'm corny. All it was giving was That's a mess. <laughs> no, no, listen. No, 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 no. Fruit ain't the go-to. And I'm saying it like that on purpose. You got to have something else in your bag. Like... Bro, so you mean to tell me you got to go cut up a whole watermelon, demonstrate all this, man? No, you got to have something missing in your bag. You got to have something missing. Fruit. And I don't just know if it's because it. his I want brother, to ask you that too. Orion, had just eaten fruit on that podcast the week like right. prior. Right. Uh, no, I, I don't know what it was with, with, with the like, brothers eating just, fruit. Like, I don't know though. what it was. It just wasn't it. It wasn't it. But does that make you like. No. This fruit. No. The only, all right, so. It didn't make my juices drip. This is what I was about to say. It didn't make my did, pussy did, tingle. It didn't make your weenie wiggle. No. <laughs> no. Now we'll Not say, even a little bit. It was a lot of hype. You might see something that turned you on and might want to go downstairs and fuck your husband. No, it didn't That's make me want to do saying. anything but go to bed. <laughs> Turn this shit off. It looked crazy as shit. <laughs> like, bro, what is the way? Watermelon? Come on, man. They're just not going to do it. So my question was with this whole thing, and you just answered it. Now, nah. but double standard time. Here I go. There was one point in time when Carrie Hilson sucked down a whole popsicle and had the internet or a banana. I forgot which one it was. Had the internet in an uproar. There was a time where Boosie had a whole, what was that? Eggplant. Cucumber challenge. He invited all the girls to his house and they were sucking the skin off of that. There was points of times in the internet history uh, where women were doing things with fruit. And I must say, that didn't do it for me either. So I'm here to say today, let's go ahead and put a kibosh on the fruit. Because I don't think fruit belongs in the bedroom, period. I could be wrong. I mean, if you, We've no, never experimented can, but, with fruit. Well, because, that's because you're allergic to it. You can use fruit as aphrodisiacs. You know How, what I'm saying? Where, like you're where? sitting down, and before you get the night started, y'all sitting down and eating fruit is sexy. Fruit is always going to be sexy, but you got to eat it for real. I don't I don't need the demonstration of you. <laughs> like, no, I ain't even doing like, right. I, don't, I don't need that. But if we're just sitting down, and it's like a sexy vibe, and we got some berries and some wine and some chocolate. Like, yeah, that's sexy. That's gonna set the mood for me because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm tingly. I'm, I'm eating a, a nice, delicious snack and then I'm ready to pop it out. But the, the but the setting in which the wa- fruit first of all, watermelon, the watermelon, ain't, watermelon ain't the go-to. It ain't for sexy fruit. It ain't. <laughs> so I'm saying, bro, you got the biggest fucking obtruse fruit you can find. <laughs> Just big and just stank and just clunky. You go, you go try to hand it off to a girl. She don't want your ass ass watermelon spit. Come on, man. I don't think that was the route you should have taken, Amarion. And listen, brother, I was rooting for you. I thought about if it was going to work, I was gonna risk it all and bring a watermelon in the bedroom. But boy, I knew that shit just wasn't gonna work. So, fellas out there, I'm telling you right now, if you're looking for something to put in your bag in the bedroom, um, needless to say. Fruit ain't it. Now, whipped cream? What you feel about that? No. You don't like whipped cream? I don't like whipped cream. Well, like, like, I really? do not like whipped cream. Chocolate syrup? I do, nope. I don't like that either. So you don't want nothing on your body? Mm-mm. Let not me like take that. some whipped cream. <laughs> Spray it now, on top Now, I do have a client who gave Whoa. me a candle. Whoa. And okay, I see where we're going. it is a massage candle. And so I'm supposed to be able to light it, let the wax, you know, do its thing, and pour it out and massage bear it with the wax. Bro, you put some fucking hot wax on me, I'm calling the police. <laughs> Why you gonna put wax that, on me? But, it, but it's not supposed to dry like that. What it's you not mean? supposed is, to like is it, is it hot? it's not supposed to dry like that. Is it hot? The way that is it's it crafted. Nope. You don't want to massage with warm oils? Nope. By a professional. 
Not by a nigga that gonna drop the damn hot wax under my ass crack, bro. I can already see this You pour it into your now. hand, rub it around, and then I'm, we, we'll try it. No, we won't. And let y'all know. Because I want to support my client. Um, God bless her. Because I'm actually going to see her on Wednesday this week. So. You got to support in other ways. Just buy our products and we give them out of the live shows. I don't really know. Listen, listen. Mine. He want to stick his fucking feet in my panties, but don't want to melt a candle and get freaky with some wax. I don't want to like, stick I, your feet I, in I your like, panties. What? I don't understand. I want to move your panties to the... Which which what? your big toe? Which your big toe? No, the toe of Idaho, man. That's what I'm trying to give the community right now. The tongue of Tanzania, the toe of Idaho. I'm trying to show you there's multiple ways to turn that thing on, and watermelon just ain't one for over. And these are feet, so don't take that advice. Either. Some people like feet, bro. Some be, listen, they paying good money for feet on well, only no, no, no. I don't, right now. I don't mind you touching my feet and massaging your feet. Like, massaging my feet. And I'll yeah, even massage yeah, your feet. But right the now. way in which you were trying to use your feet on me is going to always be a no. <laughs> always. I was just trying to move the underwear to the side. I saw something else, too. It was crazy a minute ago, bro. Did you see that video today of the couple in Brooklyn Chop House? Straight? Having... They, they were straight. Okay, they were getting it in inside of a public restaurant in New York. You didn't see that? No. My man had her look like in what looks like a booth, and he was putting her through the roof. I said, oh, this is pornography. It got so bad that Brooklyn Chop House sent them a message and told, asked them to take the video down because they had the name. You know how you put the name of the restaurant? I guess people love going Eddie B's. Eddie B's. I hate Eddie B's, by the way. Eddie B's. I'm like, that's what they did. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to show it to you after the pod. Now I want to stop and show it to you. you I'm confused. It what do you mean? There were other people in the restaurant? Bro, I don't know well, where they what were. What position were they in? <laughs> he had her from the back. So she she's had, bent over in I'm the a, booth. Listen, I got to find this show and see. If y'all got more information than me, let me know. I know <laughs> I, I'm so confused. Fellas, don't send her this shit. Women, you can send it to her. Guys, send it. I'm going to get upset with you. <laughs> if a lady can find it before I can find it. And you probably gonna look for it. No, I'm not going to look for it. I'm not going to look for it. I'm about to ask somebody about it. But yeah, so I saw that. It made me think about what's the craziest place you never did something like that in? The wildest place. I know we've probably talked about it once well, or twice. You know, I don't have like a long sexual history. Like most of my sex capades have been with you. I was fucking in high school, then I started fucking you. So I don't know, oh. like, or having sex. I shouldn't say it like that. Jesus Christmas, um, right on. No, most of my high school sex took place in the car. There you go. It's the wildest place. It's the wildest. She's so pretty freaky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now move forward. And then forward. I tried to have sex in the hot tub. Uh, yeah, we and in the this. in the massage room on vacation, we but he was Mrs. Scary that day, so I don't, I don't you know. We talked about it. I ain't here for the embarrass me no more. Not gonna embarrass me. If you want to hear really, about this like, story? We go should find really it. like not have sex in hot tubs because the time that we like we went to Gallivray, we had sex in a hot tub one time, and I definitely came back with a. When did I come back? Y'all know something nasty probably. No BV. Bacteria vaginosis. Woo. From having sex in a hot tub in Gatlinburg. So Yikes. I will not be participating in that activity again. <laughs> she got real. He got real. <laughs> it's crazy. Now, last thing I want to talk about, man. Before I hopped on this mic, and I want to talk about it because it got literally in like two or three hours, 81,000 comments. It was a post that I saw. And it was this man bringing food to his son that with, who was with his baby's, baby's mom, but she also has three of the kids. The guy only brought his son some food while there were two other kids in the house present. The baby mother got mad at the baby father because he didn't bring the other baby some food that were not his kids. Mm. Is he wrong or is he right? That's nasty. That's not what I asked you though. Is he wrong or is he right? Or I mean, so it's, I mean, okay, so technically he's not wrong. You didn't however, write however, I do believe in doing more, not less. My like my spirit wouldn't let me feed just those two kids. Yeah. Like yeah. if I'm going to do something like that, I'm just going to drop off a big ass pizza. Yeah, and everybody can eat. That's a fact. Like, because they're children and they didn't actually be brought into the the, the situation. Mm. 
So, I mean, technically, he do whatever he wants with his yeah, kids. Yeah, he It's his money. Um, But me, personally, I wouldn't do that. Now, with... And it wouldn't even be like a habit either. It, it, it To me, if I was in like a situation as sticky as that, I would just send money for food. Mm. If I'm going to actually bring food over, I'm bringing food for everybody. Like mm. everybody's going to eat in the house. But if if I'm in a position to where I don't, I just don't want to feed there your you go. kids, I'm just oh, going to no. send money. Okay. Like I'm going to send you money and say, hey, here goes some, some money. Go get the kids some food. Let me ask you a question, though. Is he obligated to buy the other kids something? Or should they just be no. in his moral character? No, it's not. It's not obligation. It's mm-hmm. definitely moral character. Like, but, but the thing is, people are so... Would you get mad then? Because she was fire hot. I'm talking about she videoed him, called him all type of names. He called no, her a bitch. that's not necessary. Because also, that, that, that type of behavior also blocks your blessings. Sure, yeah. You're not getting nothing from me. So... Even if I was thinking about it. Um, and that's what I was gonna say. I think it's just about being a good person. Yeah. Because I, the way that I look at it is like, I, I, I like to feed strangers on the street. So if I, I'm gonna feed strangers on the street, why can't I feed these kids in this house? But you know what? Sometimes people make it hard for you to do the right thing. And I'm not saying she did, but I can tell. By the way she was talking to him, and by the way she put that camera all in his face, talking foul to him, he probably didn't feel the need to even try to do something for the kids. But in that same breath, like you said, the kids, they didn't do anything to be and in that situation. I don't understand how people feel so comfortable putting their business out there like that. Like Put it all ain't out. Ain't no way. Camera all in my man's face. I am Shit. recording you and putting it on social media. If I'm recording you for anything, it is... To protect myself. Mm. If you're at my house causing a ruckus mm-hmm. and we arguing, and she and I'm doing all the ruckusness. Um, like that would be a reason to record. Like, or if you feel like your safety is in danger, that would be a reason to record so that you have something to present to the police. But yeah. other than that, I'm not going to record you for the sake of embarrassment because I'm pissed off at you. Right, right, right. Because I don't, I don't like. I have been embarrassed a lot. In my life. I don't like feeling embarrassed. So I don't, I don't want to embarrass anybody else. I think that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to like, she said she going to bust him out or something like that. She going to show everybody what type of person he is. And I'm like, really? Well, at though? the end of the day, he did not make those kids. There you go. They not like I said, kids. if he's going to. Ask they daddies. Be- if you want some. Ma- if all the rest of those kids want a Happy Meal and he only brought one. She can go out and go buy the other kids a Happy Meal. He doesn't have to do it. And also. Ask their dad. But she could have just did that. That's why co-parenting relationships is so important for you to communicate properly mm-hmm. because then you can set boundaries. She could have easily said like, hey, I don't like when you just bring food over here for these two kids. Like, is there a better way that we can do this? Listen, one of my homies right now, he co-parents when she's a homegirl too. They great relationship. So much so that when he gets his daughter, he also sometimes will get the other young lady too. Yeah. That little girl too. Or as simple as like, hey, if you're going to bring them food, let me know so that I can go ahead and get my two some food so that they're all here eating together. Right on. So that they don't right have on. to just watch your kids eating. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because oh, we again, can bust this hamburger down four people ways. Don't think about the ways that that affects children. Mm. Like until you've, until you've sat in a situation and you see everybody in the room get something except you, mm. it's a shitty feeling as a child. So I wouldn't want to make other children to feel that way. So that's what I'm saying. Like, There's always a better way to communicate a situation. There's always a better way to handle a situation. I think she mostly handled it poorly just poorly. because she videoed it and put it poorly. on social media. Yep. And like I said, if you're disappointed or if you're upset about something, there's a... Di- there's A better way to communicate that. Now, we don't know how many times this has happened, but I will say it's in part one. And it was like it had happened before. Now, for me in this situation, if it had happened before, she should just explain to him, hey, don't bring anybody nothing. Like, don't don't bring any of the kids anything because what's going to happen is you're going to make a bad dynamic between them. And you're gonna make them start not liking each other. All right. So once she established that, that is what happens. Once she once she established that, then at that point. 
If he would have still did the same thing, that's when she could have brought out the camera and just flipped out like she did. But I don't know, like I said, how deep that that went. Because maybe she did already do that. And maybe that's why she was upset. But at the same time, I told you, she could have got in the car, drove down to McDonald's, because it probably really wasn't that far, and got everybody else some food too. Or she could have made, you know what, we, we all just finna go to McDonald's. Get in the car, we all gonna go. Don't even eat that. You keep it. We don't want the food. We about to drive down to McDonald's. Yeah, there are ways around it. It was handled. It was handled so poorly yeah. to the fact that now he ain't even gonna want to be around it no more. Now they just created this dynamic. Everybody gonna be in the house. Ah, oh, yeah. So I don't know, man. But I had to ask you that. You ready? Yep. Let's do this. Give it up. Let her upgrade you. What would India do? Oh, W W I D. What would India? do kick it let's go i was on a trip and i asked my boyfriend to pick me up i gave him my flight info and everything okay he doesn't work on sunday so he's free all day he said he would be there i asked him to be at the airport around 6 50 p.m give or take 20 minutes i land and call him he hasn't left yet so then he tells me to wait at the airport for an hour or so while he does stuff i can't leave because he has my house keys he then gets mad at me, saying my expectations are too high. If he, if I was thinking, he'd be at the airport when I land. It's his Sunday, too, and I'm being selfish, asking him to be there on time. But my friends say that that's why they literally have a cell phone lot. When I pick people up, I'm usually on time, and if I'm not, I let them know I'm at least on my way or running late. My boyfriend didn't say anything. I was waiting outside and then called him to find out. Usually when we get into disagreements, he deflects onto me and blames me. Mm. I know it's a trivial situation, but it's just upsetting. I just wanted to get your perspective on this matter. Mm, mm, mm. I already know what you're about to say. Who be raising these men? I knew it. I knew what you were going to say. Boy, I feel bad. I got to dump you. Because if I can't <laughs> depend on you to pick me up from the airport as we're dating his boyfriend and girlfriend, that means I'm not going to be able to depend on your ass to pick me up from the airport when we get married. If you want to live 20 minutes from the house and you know I land at this time, after a day of traveling, we all know that traveling is, is exhausting. Shit but I fun. would think that you would want to show some compassion and be like, hey, let me pick you up from the airport. Mm -hmm. Like, it's literally that simple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And him calling you selfish, I don't know. Sounds like he's the selfish one. Yeah, he ain't got a leg to stand on in this one, man. Like, what were you doing that was so important when you can't pick your woman up? Typically, when your boyfriend and girlfriend, like, you still in that bubbly, lovely phase right there. You know what I mean? And when you left me for, like, a couple of weeks, I drove to Memphis because I missed her. She wasn't even my girlfriend. She was just a little... Main sugar stain. And I drove to Memphis to see her because I missed her. Remember that? Pull it up. So what I'm saying is, if it's your boyfriend and your girlfriend, then when they get back, they go out of town, you should be happy to see them. You should be there bells and whistles. She'll be there with a blue chew in your pocket, ready to do what you're going to do with a watermelon in the back seat. He basically just tells you that you are not a fucking priority to him. Nah, not at all. Not at all. Like, because you're going to make me wait at the airport for over an hour while you do whatever you do. First of all, you haven't even said what you're doing. That's so important. I was about to say, were they mad at one another? They, did they leave um, and they were mad at each other? No. And now he's like, I'm trying to repay you. I ain't going to pick you up when you say you're going to be there. No. He just, this is basically like, why do you think I'm supposed to pick you up just because you said I'm supposed to pick you up? Because you're my significant other if i can't trust you who can i trust also if he knew he couldn't pick her up or he knew he didn't want to pick her up you know what have been playing it would have got him all the points and my guy would have had that uber black waiting on him but see we ain't thinking like That's that what I'm no saying. More. like if he was so Niggas busy like if he that, was so bro. busy he could he could have called you an uber black though you got to get the the, the the nice joint man i'm telling you a right nice now. gesture would have been like um, I'll book an Uber and I'll pay. I'll pay for it. <laughs> but see, it's still too much. He could have booked the Uber for, had it waiting on her. She came out. Oh, what if he had no sign too? <laughs> came out. She hopped in the whip, then dropped her off wherever he was at. And what if he was already at like a dentist spot? Boom, boom, dropped her off. Put the bags in his whip. 
Yeah, they went to have dinner. Or just communicate. Like, hey, I'm sorry, I already though. have something planned, but let me try to help you arrange some, some something else, too. Yeah. I mean, because they could be living in a city with, like, not very many friends or, you know, yeah. whatever. But at least try to help. But th- is that not why we're in relationships? So that we can lean on each other and depend on each other and have good companions? Like, what are you here for? Man, listen, I'm sorry, man. this is easy. Dump his ass. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now. If I was still outside, I would have all the women. Because I know what to do. I know how to play the game. Gotcha. I would have sent you that Uber. Then check this out. While you're on your trip, wherever you went, I would have bought you a meal. I would have just told them, hey, whatever you need, you know, whatever actual restaurant you're going to, put that first 150 on me. Oh, you ain't had to pay for it. I got you. <laughs> Wherever you going to go. Let me ask you this real fast before we get out of here. Speaking of first dates, is going out of the country, out of, out of town on the first date, is that too much? Mm, for me, it is. Okay, I wanted that too. I wanted it was like, no, if I, I'm not like, I feel like I need to get to know you a little more and okay. I'm not really whoa, 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 comfortable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What if you and I have been talking on a consistent basis? And we We've went on a talking. regular date? We just been talking, you know what I'm saying? I got a little cash on me, and I'm like, you know what? I think for our first date, I want to go to somewhere somewhere like, I want to go to Miami. You down? First date? We got to go Weekend. at least, my, my requirements, we got to go on Friday at least one date here first. So no out of town dates on the first unless date. See, so you always... book my, unless you book me a separate room. I don't want to stay with somebody that I just met in the bed with them, like, Get undressed with them. Like, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to show you what that's Unless, uh, unless the intention is to go down there and have sex. Which, okay. uh, which, again, I'm not doing that on the first date. I got one better for you. What if we get a big old Airbnb with two bedroom, two bath? Is that cool? No, give me a hotel. Damn. Well, ain't no first date with you then. Because I'm yeah, not give getting me a hotel. Look, I'm, I'm getting my own room. All right, there you go. India, tell the people where they can find you, girl. India.Marie on Instagram. Oh, I said Make that loud. sure that you go to the YouTube channel. Hit subscribe. Subscribe right now. Let's drop go. Drop us a five star review. Five star. Um, Apple list Podcasts that. or wherever you listen to your podcast. Make sure that you visit both of our Instagram pages. Or you can go to sheandipodcast.com, go to the events page. And step it on my lines. <laughs> go to the <laughs> events page. She all over here. And buy your tickets to buy the live show. To the live show. Summertime vibes. Summer We're gonna have a good time. Vibes are gonna be in the building. You can find me at B Love1911 on all social platforms. Be sure to follow She and Our Podcast on Instagram. Leave us a message at she and our podcast at gmail.com. We love to hear from you. Share your thoughts. Give us a story. Let us know what you want to hear. Come out to the live show, July 9th, 7 o'clock. Come with your girlfriends. Come with your guy friends. Come Come with your boyfriends. Come with your husbands. Come out, pull up. We out there. In the meantime, in between time, it's been real. It's been fun. She, 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 she